Cybermink brings you Fishing 101. Think before you click. Objectives By the end of this session, everyone will be able to 1. Define phishing and identify common methods used by scammers 2. Recognize red flags in phishing emails, messages, or posts 3. Develop critical thinking skills to discern legitimate requests from potential phishing attempts. What is phishing? Phishing is when someone tries to trick you into revealing personal information like your password, credit card numbers, or other sensitive information. Phishing can happen through emails, text messages, or other online platforms. Types of phishing. Phishing attacks come in different forms. Email phishing. Scammers send fake emails pretending to be a trustworthy organization. SMS phishing. Scammers send text messages with fake links or requests for personal information. Social media phishing. Scammers create fake profiles or posts to trick you into clicking on links or sharing personal information. Red flags. Red flags in phishing attempts are warning signs or indicators that help individuals identify potential scams. Some common red flags in phishing include urgent or threatening language, suspicious sender information, requests for personal information, misspellings or grammatical errors, suspicious links or attachments, generic greetings, too good to be true. One urgent or threatening language. Phishing attempts often create a sense of urgency or use threatening language to prompt immediate action. Phases like, urgent action required, account suspended, or, your account will be deleted, may indicate a phishing attempt. 2. Suspicious sender information. Check the sender's email address or social media profile. Phishing emails or messages often use generic or suspicious email addresses that do not match the legitimate entity they claim to represent. Three. Requests for personal information. Legitimate organizations do not request personal information, such as usernames, passwords, or credit card numbers, via email, social media, or other online means. Be cautious of any request for personal information. 4. Misspellings or grammatical errors. Phishing emails or messages may contain misspellings, grammatical errors, or awkward phrasing. Legitimate organizations usually have professional communications, and do not contain obvious errors. 5. Suspicious links or attachments. Be cautious of links or attachments in emails or messages from unknown or untrusted sources. Hover over links to check their actual destinations, and do not click on suspicious links or download attachments that you were not expecting. 6. Generic greetings. Phishing emails may use generic greetings like, Dear customer, instead of addressing you by your name. Legitimate organizations often personalize their communications with your name, or other relevant information. 7. Too good to be true. Phishing attempts may lure individuals with enticing offers, such as winning a prize or getting a huge discount. If an offer seems too good to be true, it may be a phishing attempt. Consider these red flags. Read the examples and then identify which form of phishing it is and what red flags make it a phishing attempt. Example 1. You come across a pop-up window while browsing a website that asks you for your credit card information to claim a prize or discount within the next 10 minutes. The website looks legitimate, but you only have 10 minutes to submit your personal information. Example 2. You receive a message on social media from someone claiming to be a friend or family member, asking for your address and phone number. You've never met this person and don't see photos of them with your family or friends. Report phishing attempts. If you suspect a phishing attempt, report it to a trusted adult, teacher, or your at department. Please don't forward the phishing email or message to another user. You can show them on your device. Forwarding phishing emails could lead to others being phished. Reporting phishing attempts helps protect others from falling victim to the scam. Think critically. Be skeptical of emails, messages, or posts that seem too good to be true or too urgent. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Think before clicking on any links, sharing personal information online, or opening any suspicious attachments. Ask yourself if it seems legitimate, and if you were expecting it. Verify the authenticity of the sender and the information provided before taking any action. Trust your instincts and be cautious when sharing information online. Think before you click. Protect yourself from phishing. Don't share your personal information online.